This is a PSA tutorial about our yield and hand harvesting protocol. This video will cover actions required at crop maturity, materials needed, and how to hand harvest your yield samples. At crop maturity, you will need to hand harvest the crop for yield, remove soil water sensors, take soil texture, and remove the last decomp bags. In the field, you'll need a 10 foot or 5 foot length of pipe or rope, tags, pre-printed barcodes for yield, 5 gallon buckets for corn, heavy cotton pillowcases or large paper bags for cotton and soybean, clippers or shields for soybeans, shovels and post pillars for sensor removal, and a soil probe. In the lab, you'll need a scale, moisture tester, drying oven, and a sheller, thresher, or cotton gin depending on your cash crop. To hand harvest in soybean and corn, you'll measure out two representative 10-foot rows in each subplot, as we do here with a 10-foot rope. For corn, you will take a population count and shuck the ears of all plants in the 10-foot section and place them into the buckets or bags you brought. For soybean, you will use hand shears to cut all the plants in each 10-foot section at the soil surface. Once you have hand harvested your first 10-foot section, place the beans in a bag and begin working on your second 10-foot section, which will be placed in a different bag. Make sure to label your bags with the correct barcodes ahead of time, and follow these steps for each subplot until you're done with your hand harvest. For cotton yield, we will use pre-labeled paper bags to collect our yield samples. This time, find two representative 5 foot sections and pick the lint off of each plant in the 5 feet, taking care not to collect any plant debris. Place each 5 foot sample into separate bags. Back at the lab, dry your corner beans if necessary, then use a sheller, thresher, or cotton gin to prepare the sample for a moisture test. Take at least two moisture measurements per sample and a test weight. For more information, please follow this link to the yield protocol.